So I've got my messy clothes on, I've even got my crocs on. I'm out in the garden again because crop problems like these, weeds, bits, and the patio and all on my drive. So I picked up another variety tool to try and sort out this problem. So thanks for joining me. My name is Dale and this is the tool in question. It's another one of the Ryobi 18 volt one plus range. It is the patio cleaner with the wire brush. So I bought this a few months ago, but finally getting around to testing it out. So in terms of kind of the setup, it's got basically this wire wheel that can be easily swapped out and then just a kind of runner reel that sits on the side. And I think there are two different wheel types that you can put uh, on this particular product. You have a handle, this just kind of bolts on uh, with like a, a turny turny knob so you can easily adjust it and take it on and off without a problem. It's also telescopic so if you just pop the end up here you can just adjust the size a little bit. And then we have um, the grip and trigger up here to kind of get things started. It's pretty quiet so we're going to see how well does it work on uh, the patio and then on my driveway give you a rough idea of what the runtime might be and obviously you know, is it going to do the job that we're hoping for i bought the kit that comes with the two amp hour battery and it also has one of the little kind of slow chargers on which will charge that battery in about 60 minutes it was a better deal at the time and i'm going to be running it with the four amp hour battery and i already have just to test it out, just to give it a little bit more grunt. And we will put the two amp hour battery in at the end just to see if it feels that much difference in terms of the power it has. So let's talking, let's get onto the patio and see how well this works. Okay, so this is a nasty bit of the patio. You can see there's a nice grass line that runs all the way down here. So hopefully we're just gonna turn it on, or basically line it up, turn it on, and then see how we go. So we'll start down the end here and I'll work my way up. I hope it doesn't damage the, um, the patio either. Okay, so it's done a reasonable job. My patio has quite thin gaps between, but if we compare what it looked like before, it's all toughly like this. And it has cut through. Obviously, as you can see, it is marking the patio as we go, but I think a jet wash will sort that situation out. Again, still little bits in here. So I'm gonna try it from the other angle, and see if it makes any difference. When you use it, you do feel it, it's kind of pulling itself along and kind of driving through the weeds. So I think it's doing a good job. We're going to try it on the driveway in a moment. One thing that is quite good is this little rubber kind of mud flap at the back there that stops any of the debris kind of flicking out too much obviously you probably should be using safety glasses uh, when using something like this but um, make sure you do what I'm not doing so let's pop to the drive and we'll try it out on there before coming to our final conclusion so this is the driveway if, like other people you've got to block paving you know it's a pain to try and keep clean I jet wash it quite regularly put sand in there put weed killer but it always comes back so a little bit more complicated to use than on a patio because obviously it's not all just one straight line but let's uh, try it out see how we go on
Okay, so I've finished using the wire brush tool and it's done a really good job. It definitely works better on the drive with kind of more mossy kind of stuff between the gaps. I think if I was to do it again in terms of the patio, I'd probably spray some weed killer down there, leave it for a week, and then when I come back, it would do a much kind of better job of cleaning things up. But as you can see, it's done a good job. I'm gonna spend more time uh, later when it cools down a little bit. It's getting quite hot to finish off the driveway, but really happy with it. I did try the two amp hour battery that came in the box, which seems completely dead, even after I fully charged it, uh, I think there's an issue with the contacts or something. Uh, I did try a 1.8 amp hour battery that I have, and it does work. There is a noticeable amount of, I guess, less grunt compared to the four amp hour battery. So I would recommend if you've kind of got, you know, thinner gaps like I have, you want to have a more powerful battery uh, as opposed to the smaller two amp hour, but it will do the job. Um, obviously you'd probably just have to charge it up a little bit, bit longer, but very happy. I would definitely recommend one of these and yeah, let all the variety of products make sure that you register it when you get it so you get the three years um, warranty but yeah let me know down in the comments below this has been helpful if you've got one what you thought about it and any other kind of roby recommendations you may have so next one take care of yourself bye for now